While City Council is meeting this Wednesday with a number of items on the agenda, the focus in the early morning hours was the city's financial situation and what is generally seen as a lack of support for Toronto by the federal government in the budget that was announced this week. Deputy Mayor Jennifer McKelvey spoke this morning about the city's $900 million deficit as a result of COVID-19 costs, mainly related to transit and the city's refugees. I'm disappointed the Deputy Prime Minister, a Toronto MP, would ignore a direct commitment the federal Liberals made during the last election to the City of Toronto. I'm thankful for the many productive conversations I've had with many Toronto area MPs who understand the importance of making investments in transit and housing for our most vulnerable. We have been very clear to the Government of Canada what the City's needs are and about the importance of supporting Toronto, the country's economic engine. My job right now is to stand up for Toronto, and I won't hesitate to fight to make sure our city and its residents receive our fair share from other governments. Look, I understand we're in a very difficult financial position, but I also blame Council for taking us here over the last number of years and the different votes and the different services that they've elected to provide. We have to do everything we can as a city to make sure that we are focused on delivering the services efficiently that we are responsible for. Before we turn to other orders of government to bail us out, having bailouts year after year is not a sustainable plan. When asked specifically about the types of cuts that the city could see as a result of the lack of support from the federal government, McKelvey did speak about the state of good repair in the city. That means our roads, community centers and arenas come 2024 might not see the upkeep that is needed. When it comes to the race for mayor, another candidate has made it official as of this morning. Councillor Brad Bradford will be registering when the time comes next week. We have a report in front of us today that outlines the dire financial situation of Toronto. Uh, community safety is a top priority. We see uh, the chaos that's happening on the TTC right now. Folks don't feel safe. It is less and less affordable to live here in this city every day, and it's harder and harder to get around. We spend so much time here at the city uh, in endless debate and discussion, deferral, delay, and we don't see enough action moving things forward. Uh, it's, it's about time for less talk and more action.